Hello guys, welcome. This is Tipika from mytutorialrack.com. Now in this tutorial, we are going to create our project. So we'll go ahead and do control shift and P will open up the command palette and we'll say create a project with the manifest. So let's go ahead and click on the second option, the standard project template. And let's say we give our name Einstein for developers. Okay. This is the project name that I'm giving and then hit the enter. And uh, where do I want it? I want it again. I want to create a folder here uh, called Einstein two new folder and it's called Einstein two. And that's the folder I'm going to select create project. Okay. So what it's going to do is it's going to create a project with the manifest under this folder, not here, but a new folder will be created. It's creating the project right now, as you can see here, this is from the previous tutorial. So don't worry about it. So now it's going to open Einstein for developers. Now the next thing, what I have to do is I have to, yes, I trust the authors click on that one. And then we are going to authorize an org here. Okay. Control shift P authorize an org. Let's see if it's coming. It's still waiting on certain extensions. So let's it's a desktop icon. So I'm going to go ahead and restart it here. And after you restart it, you just wait a few minutes because it takes time to load all the extensions and stuff like that. Wait for a few minutes. I've already created the project Einstein for developers. All we need to do is so once you see this no default org set, now do a control shift P here on over to this. Control shift and P and now we will authorize the org here. So click on authorize in org. You can choose the production or project default. We can go ahead and do that. Now, what do you want to call this Einstein for developer two? Okay. That's the name of the org. Now it's going to ask you to log in. And if I remember, this is my username. So I'll make sure I have that handy. And you will see here, it will ask you to log into your Salesforce org. We will click on it. This is our org name, login. And ta-da, we are f uh, finally logged in. We have to allow the access. So we'll go ahead and click on here and we will allow access. Now authentication has been successful. So make sure that you have Einstein for developer is enabled and that's the org we have uh, authorized. Now let's go back to your Visual Studio code and let's create an Apex class. Okay. Create an Apex class here and we'll call it as account service is the name of our Apex class. And now here you will see the magic of your code. So first it is going to create the class. Okay. Now here, what we can do is you can do control. You can remove all this and you can say control shift P make sure your cursor is within the class. And here you can say Einstein generate code. Okay. This is what, now what is your query here? I'll say create a method which returns 10 account records. That's the query we are writing, create a method that which return 10 account records. And this is the query and I'm going to hit enter here. And now you will see the magic of your, this thing. So you can see here, get 10 account records and it has written the query. Now, if it looks correct to me, I'm going to accept it. And you can see here, it has created the code for you. And now if you want to use it, you can use it. And now there is a history and feedback place that you can see over here, whatever prompts that you're giving to your Einstein for developers, it will show up. Okay. And then you can tell, is it acceptable or not, but you'll see it in a minute. Uh, currently it's not showing, but this is where the history and feedback will go. Similarly, you can do again, control shift P enter Einstein generate code, and then click your query, create another, write another method. that retrieves account and its associated concept contacts. Okay. Now here you can see here what's happening is it's going to create another method for you. This is the method, but it has created another class. So 
I'm told to I've been telling you this is a beta version so don't worry about it but you got a zist of it the method is now we can get rid of this class because we don't need it so you'll go ahead and delete it and this is your method public static list of account get a con accounts with contacts so here you can see it is giving you this is your query that it has made select name select name first name last name it knows the field names also from contacts from accounts so it is also going to give you accounts as well as the associated contacts okay so this is your another example of using einstein for developers we'll play around with this einstein for developers and you can do it on your own as well but i've shown you how it can be used and you can see here it can write code for you isn't this amazing isn't this um, kind of like mind-boggling that now you can just install this extension and just see the magic of this i hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials and i hope you are learning new stuff about salesforce and uh, if you are liking this video then please please i recommend you to post a review on the course that kind of encourages me and because it takes a lot of effort to put together this course uh, it takes almost a couple of months to make a course for you so please i'll really appreciate if you can post a review um, on the course as well thank you very much and uh, i'm going to see you in the next video take care bye bye